In this video, I will show you how I use AI to create alerts and notifications that are slightly more interesting than regular notifications. This is a video that was voted forward by the channel members in the Discord server. So if you want to join in and be part of the great chat, you could consider becoming a channel member. The first thing you will need to do is install the OpenAI Conversation integration. This is built into Home Assistant. Once you found it, it will ask you for an API key. I know, scary, because an OpenAI API key will cost money. But I don't think you should worry too much. I've been using this for more than six months and have never spent more than two cents in a single month. So we just have to make sure we use one of the newer, cheaper AI models. In the OpenAI dashboard, head over to API keys and create a new key. Copy it and paste it into Home Assistant. I've already done this, so I will just use that one for this tutorial. It should pop up under Services. Next, we can click Configure. This is where we can sort of create the personality of our AI assistant. I've decided to have a bit of fun with it and not be too serious. I won't be using this for critical information. So I tell it to behave like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies. I also tell it what language I want it to respond in. To be fair, if you want English, you probably don't have to add this. I also tell it to keep the responses short and to the point. The responses should never be longer than 350 characters and I don't want any hashtags or special formatting other than the occasional emoji. If you want it to be able to control your devices, set it to assist. And I use the GPT-40 mini model. This is the cheapest one and works really well. All right, let's go to settings automations and let's create a new blank automation. For now, I won't create a trigger, but you could trigger this in many ways. For example, at a specified time or when a device reaches a certain state. More examples later. But what's important here is the action section. First, let's add a conversation process action. First, we can select our agent. This will be the OpenAI integration we added earlier. Then we can further define what we want out of the AI for this notification. We already told it to be Jarvis, so now we can specify what info we want it to give us. For this example, I want it to summarize today's forecasted solar production. Therefore, I give it some data from a few different entities. I also tell it to respond with a natural sounding sentence without just listing all the data. Then, to be able to use the response later on in the automation, we need to put it into a response variable. I just call this agent. I'm then going to create a new action and search for notification and find my phone in the list. It's important to mention that I use Android, but this setup is pretty basic so I think it should work on iOS as well. I'm going to create a title and in the message I will put the response variable from the previous step. This is written as agent.response.speech.plane.speech inside curly brackets. Then let's save it and give it a decent name. We can then run it from the top right corner. I'll bring the phone up so we can see what it looks like. Cool, we have a working notification. And it's a bit more fun than just having a generic message every day. But let's take this one step further. We can create something called an actionable notification. It just means it's a bit more interactive than just some text. So I'm gonna add a button to the notification that I can click if I also want info about today's weather. We can do this by adding a little more code to the notification part of our automation. Underneath the message, let's add a new data section. Here we can add actions, and underneath that again we can add our first and in this example only action. We need to define an action. This need to be capital letters. I just name mine more underscore info. Then we can give it a title. The title is going to be the text visible in the button. Let's save it again and run the automation. The button shows up, but if we click it, of course, nothing happens. So we will need to create an automation that triggers when we click the button. It will almost be identical to the other one, but with some small changes. For this, we will need an event trigger, and the event will be mobile app notification action with underscores. The event data will be action colon, and the action we defined in the last automation. Mine was more underscore info. Make sure you type this in exactly the same, otherwise it won't work. Then I'm gonna create a conversation process action and just paste in the code from the other automation. I then edit this to ask for weather information instead of solar information. Still just trying to keep it lighthearted and fun, but at the same time informational. I tell it to compare the temperature with how the temperature usually is this time of year in my area, and I tell it to warn me about rain. 
Then, same as before, we can create the actual notification using the response variable. Again, I just paste in the code from the other automation. The only thing I want to edit for this one is the action section. Instead of creating a button that triggers a new automation, I want to just open the dashboard to the weather tab. To do this, we can set action to be URI. The title can be detailed info. To get the actual URI, you can just navigate to the dashboard page you want to open and copy everything after the port, 8123 in my case. For me, it will be forward slash lovelace, forward slash zero, hashtag weather. Save this with a decent name, and let's see what happens if we run the first automation we created. We first get the notification about the solar production. If we then click the button, we will get a new notification about the weather. And if we click this button, it should open the dashboard to the weather page. And that's it, actionable notifications with a dash of AI. I have this exact automation trigger every morning at seven. I promised a few other ideas as well. Like I said in the beginning, none of these automations are critical because AI can make mistakes. A simple one is a notification that triggers when the washing machine is finished. It always jokes about how boring it is to hang clothes. Another interesting one is an alert about lightning in the area. I use a hacks integration called Blitz or Tung to get these sensors. I can then have a notification tell me when lightning occurs. For some reason, it was always joking about not leaving clothes to dry outside, so I had to tell it to not do that. For this one, I've added a delay so I don't end up with lots and lots of notifications in a short time. Do you have any other ideas about how to use this? Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.